And in today's video, Pocophone X5, after a couple of days of usage, and let me tell you, it is a fingerprint magnet and dust magnet, especially dust magnet. Wow, my apartment is not that dusty. Well, maybe it is, but uh, come on, really? Anyway, it feels very nice in the hand. Well, it is a little bit wide, but still, for the big smartphone and this beautiful screen, it is good. And that fingerprint sensor is perfect, very quick. Of course, we can change the wallpaper because this one is a bit dim. How quickly can we do it? Something vibrant. Oh, like those flowers. Apply. Both. Keep. Bam. Wow, that is quick. Woo. Bam. Well, as you can see, it has a beautiful screen, one of the best screen I... Oh, well, at this price range, it's unbelievably good screen. It's a flat screen, which I love it. Very thin bezels. Nice. What about power? What does that mean? Benchmark. We could compare it to Samsung Galaxy S21. And as you can see, it is even a bigger score, which is... Really astonishing. On Android 12, Samsung is on Android 13 already, but still a bigger score, better experience. Bear in mind, this is two years old flagship, and it's still more expensive than the Poco. Wow. Let's continue, and let's continue to the audio experience. And in order to do that, we need to find YouTube and then no copyright sound. No copyright sound. Rio 56. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. Well, let me tell you, the audio experience in the Poco X5 is great. It's better than I expected. It is a flagship level. Let's continue to a gaming experience. And gaming it is Call of Duty. Let's do it. Okay. I can see it's all smooth. Fantastic. Look how smooth that is. Beautiful. You have ray tracing and everything. Oh, I see someone's behind me. Got him. Using, using an Xbox pad. Wow. Winning! Nice, very nice responsiveness, beautiful screen. I'm just winning with this smartphone, I love it. Ooh, and that sound, Dolby Atmos, Ooh, those speakers are killing it. You can hear everything. There you go, see? See? Got him all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah! I think I have an advantage with that speakers and the screen in the in the gaming experience. Cause it's so good. Woo! 
I got them all. Nice! I love it. Memory test. Read 751 and write 581. What does that mean? It means it will not glitch when you're streaming or recording your gameplay. It has very fast built-in memory. Some flagship have the similar scores. Especially in the right department, because it's easy to get a huge read score and poor write score. This one is a completely different story. This one has a premium built-in memory, which will make your smartphone smooth. And I'm surprised. I'm generally surprised how good the write department is. Wow, that's a flagship territory. Let's see the camera. And in the camera, we have documents. Okay, let's start with the Pro. There's a shortcut in the Pro mode for 108 megapixel. Bam! And look how quick that is. Because in the Samsung's latest tw uh, S23, uh, you will have to wait until the read the, the, the for like five seconds this one no you don't have to wait for anything okay what if bam it's instant <laughs> wow wow look at that Ooh, very nice very sharp okay of course we can we are in the pro mode so we can change all kinds of settings like like iso like uh, lens wow okay but 108 will not work only in wide okay let's continue documents of course with all kinds of lens, uh, lenses and also different color color settings you can see you can change it video with video you can go all the way to 4k 30 frames per second but wide angle only works with uh, 4k i'm sorry with full hd 30 so no 4k in wide angle also dedicated macro mode nice in the photo department like you can see we have a movie frame we have a voice shutter we have a dedicated macro mode Bam, very quick and very nice. Portrait mode, there you go. Wow, that's a good quality portrait mode. Night mode, and in more we have short video, 108 megapixel, vlog, long exposure, panorama. Type. Let me show you some samples. Piggy, 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 piggy. Oh, that's a pig. Mm. That is really good. <sighs> Tasty bunch. In the photography department, all those photos are getting. A beautiful vibrant colors sometimes too vibrant especially in the red department check it out mm, a bit too red and in my taste but all of them are sharp I never hit blurry picture so the video stabilization is really good out of focus very quick I will put a link in the description so you can download original samples and uh, play around with them for me those pictures are great but for you download and uh, check it out maybe there's something there which i didn't see and you will find it and let me know in the comment below if there's something great or bad with those pictures
Conclusion, what did we learn? We learned that it is wide and not too comfortable to hand with them. No, at least with my hands. For me, it's too wide. It has a beautiful, flat, 120 hertz screen. One of the best in the market. Fingerprint sensor is really quick. And in a good position. Easy to use. Pictures are beautiful. Well, in this price range, I love 108 megapixels. Uh, even the regular um, settings, all those pictures are crisp. Maybe a little bit too vibrant in the red department, but still very nice. In the video, mm, I've seen better. It is a fingerprint magnet and a dust magnet, especially dust magnet, which is crazy. Sound wise, I could say it sounds better than Galaxy S21. It's a flagship sound quality with the loudness and the quality itself. Beautiful sounding. A smartphone. And that's all I have. In this price range, I don't think you could buy anything better. There's nothing there in this price range. Nothing. Literally, nothing. So there you go. If you don't mind the wide experience, this is the number one smartphone for you. Again, in this price range. Thanks for watching and see you next video. Bye.